<clears throat> Aloha, and good to see you, coming to you from Maui. <clears throat> I want to read a sentence from the introduction just to remind us what we're actually doing here. It says, the purpose of this workbook is to train your mind in a systematic way to a different perception of everyone and everything in the world. So that's what the workbook will accomplish. It's a training our mind in a systematic way. And so today we're going to see, the workbook is going to remind us that we need, it's more important to follow the system than it is to actually understand it. The understanding will come, but we need to like, if it says do this exercise three or four times a day, we need to do it three or four times a day. And that's a, what I really want to emphasize today is how important it is to do this the way the workbook describes it. If you want, really want to get that perception that it promises of seeing everyone and everything in the world in a different way. Now let's kind of go through from the first here, the different ideas that have preceded the idea for today. Nothing I see means anything. Lesson two, I've given everything I see all the meaning that it has for me. Lesson three, I do not understand anything that I see. Lesson four, these thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see in this room. Lesson five, I'm never upset for the reason I think. Lesson six, I'm upset because I see something that isn't there. What do we see? Lesson seven tells us, I see only the past. And yesterday, the thought for the day was, my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. So today we're on lesson nine. So let's begin to uh, read Lesson 9. It says, Lesson 9 says, I see nothing as it is now. I see nothing as it is now. This idea obviously follows from the two preceding ones. Basically being, I only see the past and I'm upset because I'm seeing something that isn't there. So those are the two preceding ones. But while you may be able to accept it intellectually, it's unlikely that it will mean anything to you as yet. However, understanding is not necessary at this point. In fact, the recognition that you do not understand is a prerequisite for undoing your false ideas. There was a, a saying that Jesus had that he said, if your mind is, basically, if your mind is already, you th if you think your mind is already full of light, then you're in darkness. Because if what, if the light that you think of is the light, is not really the light, then you're not going to really see the light because you already think you see the light. You think you already have it. And that's where I spent a lot of my life in that place. I read lots of uh, spiritual books. I read the Bible many, many, many times over. And I really thought that I understood the way things are. But this course is basically tells me that I taught myself wrong. And I have to be willing to let go of those ideas 
in order for the new ideas to come in and that's what this course is doing the first beginning of this course is we're seeing that the way we have always thought it was is not necessarily true and that's all it's asking us here for in the beginning is just to have an open mind you don't even have to understand it As a matter of fact you probably won't understand it to begin with but if you the prerequisite is if you're just willing to do these exercises and see where they take you so <clears throat> these exercises are concerned with practice not with understanding so that's kind of what I was saying early these exercises are meant to be practiced uh, not as much is it for understanding but it's actually a method and a practice that doing over and over will accomplish the work that it's trying to do which is to get us to see the world differently and to see other people differently you do not need to practice what you already understand it would indeed be circular to aim at understanding and assume that you have it already which is kind of like what if you think you have the light but you don't have the light how great is the darkness it is difficult for the untrained mind and that's what we're doing we're training our minds it's difficult for the untrained mind to believe that what it seems to picture is not there I mean that's still kind of hard for me and it's been a probably 10 years since I first started reading the course but still it's hard for my my mind to actually look out there and say what to myself what I'm seeing is not really there so if you're feeling that way that's okay I feel that way and sometimes I still feel that way but that's all right we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep practicing and we'll see the light we'll see things differently I already am seeing things differently the idea this idea that what what the mind seems to picture is not there this idea can be quite disturbing and may meet with active resistance in any number of forms yet that does not preclude applying it no more than it no more than that is required for these or any of the exercises I mean, you don't have to believe it, you don't have to understand it you may even resist it but all you have to do to see if it's true or not is to apply it and I was I was trained as a biologist and so I was trained in the scientific method and that's how I approached the course was okay I'm going to follow these instructions like I would be following uh, a recipe in a lab to produce reproduce someone else's experiment if I don't follow the instructions and do it the way they did it I'm not going to get the same results so before I judge whether this is true or not I'm going to follow these instructions and see for myself is is the Course in Miracles really work for me if not I'll just let it go and that was the attitude that I took in the beginning and I'm still here uh, reading A Course in Miracles because it has benefited me and it's still benefiting me and I think it'll benefit it's not the Course says it's not for everybody and it also says that you have to be you get, you get the actually it says that everyone will have to take some version of this course at some point but we get the choice of when we want to take it not if we want to take it but when we want to take it so the fact that you're here listening to me means that you're open to um, the idea of exploring this course right now and that's all you need is just that little bit of willingness Each small step 
will clear a little of the darkness away. An understanding will finally come to lighten every corner of the mind that has been cleared of the debris that darkens it. These exercises for which three or four practice periods, three or four in the day, are sufficient, involve looking about you and applying the idea for the day to whatever you see, remembering the need for its indiscriminate application, the essential and the essential rule of excluding nothing. So everything that you see, that your eyes lay on, is a good uh, subject to apply this idea for and, and just make sure you don't exclude anything like oh that's not true about that thing and exclude it even if your mind tells you that it's not true about that particular thing so for example I do not see this typewriter as it is now. They used to have typewriters. were kind of common like computers are today. I do not see this telephone as it is now. You can tell when this was written back in the 60s. I do not see this arm as it is now. Begin with these things that are nearest you and then extend the range outward. I do not see that coat rack as it is now. I do not see that door as it is now. I do not see that face as it is now. It is emphasized again that while complete inclusion should not be attempted, specific exclusion must be avoided. Be sure you are honest with yourself in making this distinction. You may be tempted to obscure it. So that's the lesson, and uh, good luck with it today, and remember we're going to do it three or four times, and the timing for these particular lessons when you're only doing it three or four times during the day is, uh, I know for me I like to do it in the morning when I first wake up, I like to do it before I go to bed, and then I would do the other two times uh, whenever I get a break and it doesn't take very long, but just where, where I can get into a quiet space and, and do them. But you can do it however you want to. And so I just encourage you just to do it. And I just send out my love to you today and aloha from Maui and I'll see you tomorrow.